Hi, I'm Xavier Plater for the City School Student Media Team at Fort Worthington Elementary Middle School. Students in Ms. Hayes' math class are learning in a cool new way with Google Classroom. The digital interactive classroom has students collaborating, learning together, and taking online quizzes all while having fun. I've always tried to get Google Classrooms like in previous years, so I'm so happy that the city finally got Google Classrooms because now we can see all of our information, especially when we do math documents. Um, we have something called Cami that allows them to write on the actual documents, Word documents, and they can submit them and turn them into me. Not to have it, it's like, it's difficult because you gotta keep up with all your papers, make sure you have everything, and then on Google Classroom, you could just go back to your work. It opens your mind a little bit. Uh, Google Classroom is easier because if you don't get your work done like the day she give it, you can just go back to it. Today's lesson is about rational and irrational numbers. Okay, Taiwan said, I learned that irrational numbers are numbers after the decimal that never stops. We was working on rational and irrational and terminating decimals and repeating decimals. Well, we were actually doing activities about rational and rational numbers because all this week we were actually looking at them. We was learning like a lot of stuff. I saw a Quizlet, um, which the kids really love. It gives them that competitive edge to study their vocabulary words. Uh, they also were on Google Slides, which they go back and forth just to look at old vocabulary words. We have something called Digital Dictionary where they can look at each module and go back and look at those notes. There's nothing wrong with a little competition in the classroom. Quizlets has these students challenging one another each and every day. We was on Quizlets and on Quizlets we was um, working in random groups with um, my teammates. My team was sitting, we were just sitting here and another girl named Clashay. We were, some of us had, like we all had different answers on our computer, but we all had the same question on our screen, so we had to communicate and tell each other which one it was to help each other out. Collaboration not only helps students with their classwork, but also helps them learn about their classmates. It's like working with somebody that you haven't really worked with before, and you get to see a different side of them that you didn't really see before. They cannot um, submit a vocabulary term without allowing the other people in their group to see it. So it pops up on random screens. So they all have to have, they're forced to communicate with one another about what the right term is. Because if someone presses the wrong term, it'll take them back to start at zero. They say that technology is the future and that kids are the future. It's like combining them to make the best future possible. Google Classrooms definitely has these students excited about an innovative way of learning. This has been Xavier Plater from the City School Student Media Team. See you next time.